Can Redbox compete with Hulu, Netflix, Vudu? We're going to talk about here the Redbox On Demand Beta Edition right now. Simon C. here once again, guys. This is your first time checking me out. Click the little subscribe button and the bell icon to know when we kind of get more of some uh, information out on everything that we do. Here I talk about everything that's more entertaining to me. Video games, movies, and right now, Redbox. For those of you that have never used Redbox before, one, what rock are you living under? Redbox is basically you go up to a box that's red. Imagine that. Swipe your card, dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar thirty. If that Blu-rays, two dollar. You get video games as well. Get them per night. So for a lot of you guys like me that you have kids, you see a movie that's out, you get it for the night. Good way to kill some time. If you have Netflix and Hulu, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff on there. But these new releases, like Cars 3, it's not out on Redbox or anything else. I mean, on uh, Netflix, Hulu, or Vood, you can use Redbox. Now, Redbox is starting an on-demand service. Interesting to say the least. Digital downloads, if you have a Roku, watch them on your phone. I'm sure Xbox and PlayStation Networks are going to have them. You can basically rent them as you go. That's a pretty cool idea because you get, I think, 30 days to watch it once you download it. Once you, once you key it in, purchase it, 30 days to watch it, okay? Once you start watching it, you get 48 hours. That right there is more than you get from using the box itself. So to me, I think that would actually be a good thing to do for people that don't want to get out. Say Christmas Day, you don't want to get out. As you see, we have the tree here. Oh. Christmas Day, you don't want to go out to fight, fight people without a red box. We've got one, two, I got like four of them around me. And I don't like fighting with people because they're always packed. Red box on beta, on demand. The beta set now, this is still, they're rolling out new material. They're going to be rolling out more movies. Stuff that's not in a red box. That's pretty cool. Because I don't know about you, I hate trying to go to find, I have to go to all four of them just to find one movie. That my kids want to see, or I want to see, or my wife wants to see. On demand. The beta edition. Something new to check out. I think it's not going to compete with Netflix and Hulu. Because for them, it's like 9 or 10 bucks a month on Netflix. That's what we're paying. And Hulu's 8 to 9. Depending on what you do, you do Hulu Live and all that good stuff. Which I'm never going to mess with. But I think that with this, it's going to be a new opening a new door for Redbox. I think it could really I think it's really going to be a good thing because they'll have stuff that's not in Redbox anymore still. I don't know how vast their library is going to be or how long or how far back they're going to hold stuff on there. But for what it's worth, I think it's like $1.99 a movie. It's a little bit more, but like I said, you get that 30-day window to watch it. So See something you might like, okay. Later in the week, hey kids, da da, you get something cool for them to watch to kind of help them calm down after the week of school. If you have younger kids, if you know what I'm talking about. You get 48 hours to watch it. You can watch it over it. You can, you can get the Christmas story and watch it on full loop. It is that time of year. But I really think that, you know, personally, I've not done it just yet. I'm work. I'm going to try it, and once I do it, I'll give another review on how it all works. This is just, I received an email a, about a week ago about this, and I looked into it, really did a little bit of research on it. Look, they have a lot of really good titles that have them broke down by categories like, you know, every other on-demand service you use. And I really think it's going to be good. I mean, if and if you've tried it, Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you prefer actually going to the box and having that hard disk, some people are like that. Now, I know they can't do it with video games and stuff like that. I know they can't do that. That would be cool, though, but then you have Steam and all that other stuff that does that. But for movies, I think this is going to be a game changer for Redbox. Because, like I said, they have a lot of titles, and you can get them right there. It's not a, oh crap, they don't have it in this one, let's drive to another one. No, they have them there. You download it, and you can even purchase them as digital downloads to keep, which I think is really cool. So, 
I mean, that's just my opinion on it. More to come. As soon as I do it, I'm going to give another review, a full review, on how this system works, what I think of it. But looking at the, the package and what they're offering right now under the beta release, I'm sure there's going to be bugs. I'm sure they're going to fix them as they happen. So leave a comment below, guys, and tell me what you think. And, guys, I hope everyone has a very happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate in your home. I hope you guys stay safe. Have a safe new year. And, guys, I will see you next year, 2018, with some brand new stuff, talking about a whole bunch of other things as I have them. And we'll see you guys next time. Happy holidays.